Hello, and welcome to Fluke Fridays. Happy Friday, I hope you guys are doing well. This is episode number 29 of Fluke Fridays. Today what we're gonna be doing is talking through some new circuit tracers from Fluke that you might find interesting. We're gonna talk about what the differences are between the two and how they might be different than others on the market and if it's something you might want. So as we look at these today, you'll see there's two different models. There are the ST120 and the ST120 Plus. These are, as of right now, they are Lowe's exclusive, so you're only gonna be able to get these at Lowe's. Um, so shame on Fluke for that. I wish that this was available through some other channels, but right now you can only get them in Lowe's. So if you want these, go find them at Lowe's. Otherwise, I'm guessing at some point you're gonna be able to get these in other locations as well. Um, but this is great for a homeowner. You're probably familiar with something like this before. They're circuit or uh, socket testers, GFCI socket testers, and basically what you do is you plug this into an outlet. If it's wired correctly, you'll get um, no light and then three green lights. So no light there and then three or two. I said three. No light here and two green lights here. And then you go down this chart. You can see what open ground would look like. Just a green light in the middle. Uh, open neutral, green light on the right side, open hot, no lights on just like it looks now, hot and neutral reversed, you see how it would look, red and green would be on, and then hot and ground reversed, you see that. So everything thus far, the, they will both do. You can push this GFCI outlet and trip a GFCI breaker. I will show you um, all of its features as we, um, I'll go hook up in, uh, to an outlet in a little bit. But one thing you'll notice is different with the plus version. I think they're about $5 difference. Um, you can turn on an audible beep. Um, I have not opened these yet, so I don't know how loud it is, but I'm going to give you guys a review on that and tell you how loud it'll be as well. So let's get these open and uh, go use them. Okay. So I've got them both undone. Um, I was curious while they were in the package what it would feel like. Um, I thought maybe it would be like that um, overlaid rubber molding. It's not, it's, it's a hard plastic. Um, so, but they still feel as sturdy as you would expect. Um, the button clicking is good, good clicking. And uh, that's a solid click side to side. So. The feel and form, the feel of these feels like quality as far as you can get quality in these little the socket testers. So let's go try them out in front of real sockets and uh, see what we get. Okay, we are now in my kid's bathroom and we're gonna, gonna plug this into a GFCI outlet. Um, if you're worried about image, don't do YouTube videos and do close-ups, you'll see paints messes everywhere but anyways this is what it looks like so you got three um or, or two green lights i can't i keep saying three there are three lights but two green which would be correct which is what i would hope for this wiring maybe i'll wire one incorrectly downstairs for you guys and then if we wanted to trip it you can push this button and boom it tripped now we're going to reset and go with the ST120 plus and you can see green lights again now let's do the audible noise I'm guessing you guys can hear that it is it's loud for being in the room I don't know if you could hear it I'm confident you could not hear it down like I couldn't hear it in the basement from being here on the second floor but you know there you go you can hear it um, I th I'm sure if you were on the same floor, you could still hear it if it was a relatively quiet house if you wanted to go flip breakers. Okay, let's go see if we can uh, get it to give us some red lights. Here is it hooked up with no ground. And as you can see, open ground, only one light in the middle, and that's what we've got. Let's try reconfiguring this and do another one. Okay, I've got it reversed now but still have an open ground, so you get this. So let's connect the ground and see what it'll look like in a second. So we showed you guys what the 
open ground looked like. Now we're going to do open neutral. And you see the one green light there. Now let's do, yep, I don't see anything there. That would, well, we'd expect open hot, just like we saw, right? No lights lighting up. And then now we need to do hot and neutral reversed. One red would already show you that the hot or the neutrals on the wrong side. And there we go, hot and neutral reversed. And then hot and ground reversed. Give me a second. And here we go. This is hot and ground reversed. And we see the red light and the green light. So that kind of works you through the whole process. Again, there's the audio. Red and green lights makes me think of Christmas. So you know what? If you think that this is something somebody should have for Christmas, there's only one place you can get it right now, and that's at Lowe's. But I think it's a pretty good socket tester. And you know, it's worthy of having Fluke's name on it. So leave any questions, comments below. I will get to them. Also, if you like the video, hit the like button and please subscribe. Thanks and have a great weekend.